The General Optical Council has unveiled a new continuing education and training scheme for the next three years. In this new CET scheme, you're still expected to get 36 points per cycle and registrants must obtain a minimum of six points a year. However, new in this cycle, registrants who fail to get the required points will be contacted by the GOC and asked to explain why that has happened. One of the big changes for 2013 is the number of points awarded for each CET activity. The points awarded will reflect the level of interaction required. For example, peer review and clinical skills workshops will be worth more points than traditional lectures or article-based CET. Also, there will be no automatic shortfall, meaning that you must have all your points by the 31st of December 2015. Though there is still room for exceptional circumstances, the GOC recommends that you contact them first to explain. In this cycle, only 18 of your 36 points can be earned via non-interactive learning, such as text-based articles. The GOC is allowing practitioners who have difficulties attending events to gain interactive points through new distance learning modalities, but these have not been formalised yet. The GOC is working with CET providers to try and ensure that all registrants can have access to sufficient continuing education and training. Within the new scheme, everyone must achieve at least one point by peer review. Optometrists must also have points in all of the following competency groups. Communication, professional conduct, ocular examination, optical appliances, contact lenses, ocular disease, assessment of visual function, and assessment and management of binocular vision. A CET activity can be approved for more than one competency group and will be advertised as such, which means that you don't need to do a separate CET activity for each competency group. Dispensing opticians must achieve points in communication, professional conduct, ocular examination, optical appliances, contact lenses, low vision, refractive management, ocular abnormalities and paediatric dispensing. Contact lens opticians must achieve half their points in contact lens specific CET and at least one point from a contact lens specific peer review activity. This means that in addition to the dispensing optician competencies, they must also gain continuing education and training points specifically in the following contact lens related CET competencies. Communication, professional conduct, ocular examination, verification and identification, and contact lenses. Therapeutic specialist optometrists must get 18 additional therapeutics points at a rate of six a year. They must fulfill the following competency criteria, clinical and pharmaceutical knowledge, establishing options, communicating with patients, prescribing safely, prescribing professionally, improving prescribing practice, information in context, the NHS in context, and the team and individual in context. The aim of all these changes is to ensure that no practitioner becomes professionally isolated. Indeed, the changes are designed to get you interacting with other practitioners within your field, to remain up to date with each other and with the profession as a whole. And in turn, you will build confidence in your own knowledge and skills, and your patients will benefit by receiving the highest standards of clinical care.